What's happening, people, and welcome to our podcast where we step outside the box and talk about atypical topics from growing minds. I'm Benjamin. And I'm Rainy. And we are your host. Welcome to our show. Microphone check. Microphone check. One, two, four, five. <laughs> What's, What's up, everybody? <laughs> we said welcome at the same to our time. podcast. Welcome in, yeah. Where we talk about atypical topics with growing minds. From growing minds. <laughs> Whatever. I'm Rainy. And I'm Ben, <laughs> and we are your host. <laughs> we'll just redo our... We haven't done that in like eight months or something. I don't know. <laughs> All right, know. so we're here to kill a little masculinity and at the same time talk about... I'm not a man. Whatever, the border. <laughs> Whatever the border. Yeah, we got we got some little shorts. I got some shorts coming your way, but... Did you know glitter nail polish isn't colorful? It's just glittery? No, but I can tell that this nail polish costs one dollar. Why? Because it's like the shortest, stubbiest, soaked in paint. I don't know how these work. <laughs> anyway, guys, the death of Ben's masculinity is here. It's one finger, babe. I'm tattooing my middle fingers so fucking today, black. So we went to Nogales, which isn't weird. Right? No, we go there often. But. Today we did something like different. A base. Today we decided... To go piss off the fence. Yeah, literally. I got them on video. <laughs> you guys will see that video. Uh, we were just on the wall, sticking our finger in Mexico. Yeah, we like, could have put anything in there. Yeah, anything. so yelling out, humanitarian aid's coming your way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know they hate us. <laughs> ben and I have a plan for t-shirt shooting, and it's going to work. It is going to work. Anybody that follows us has heard that plan. Yeah. <laughs> And it is going to work, you know what I mean? You get those, like I said, we get those funds going, mm -hmm. and you're not going to be able to stop me from helping people. Exactly. So. You can't. Anyway, we decided to go do that today. And it was fun, but it's, like, really sad. It's very sad. Because all you do, you just look over uh, on the other side of the wall, and there's just, like, people living their lives. It's completely normal. Yeah. Like, They're not, like, fucking dying, you know what I mean? Like, I'd be so much more scared of Americans. Absolutely. Than what Americans think is on the other side of that border. Wow, nail polish gets you real fucking high. It's crazy. It doesn't make any sense. It's the smell of this shit. Oh, I know. Holy that's why crap. I always warn you when I'm about to do Yeah, it. that's right. L.A. Colors. Shout out to my 97 cent <laughs> nail polish. <laughs> I think doing your middle finger is, like, such a cop-out thing. Yeah. Everyone like you're not ready to kill your masculinity finger. just yet. Yeah, like put it on like your pinky or your thumbs. But your middle finger, like you, you know that's sexy that as fuck. Isn't that sexy as fuck? That's pretty cool. You should stop biting your nails. Yeah, that's not sexy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding, I bite my nails. Look at mine. Let's see yours. Pretty. <laughs> you just did it right over the pink? Oh, I like it. Well, yeah, it's not color. It's not colored. This is oh, just this is... glitter. No way. Yeah. So you put on, I should have gotten a purple base. Is, yeah. You know what I should have done? But yeah, you put it on and it's just a bunch of purple glitter. I'll probably apply a couple coats. I love it. So anyway, um, you've heard us talk about it before, so we're not going to make a whole podcast on it, which I think was Ben's plan, so I'm going to kill it. The border. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. We just come in hard with it, like you, you know. know. What drives me crazy? Fuck the feds. What? <laughs> when cats are dead on the street. Oh my God, we've seen one today. <sighs> it's very sad, and, and and only like a half a block from the fucking vet. Yeah. So you remember when we were in Sierra Vista with that cat? Uh, we were. No. What? Yeah. So we were in Sierra Vista, and that cat. We saw that cat walking along the side of the road, and then he decided to cross the street. Remember? Oh my and god. And there was like that, like red charger or something, like driving fast. Yep. And the cat took off across the road, and fucking the car missed him by half, oh. a, half a centimeter, literally. You people need to slow the fuck down in your giant machines, well, with your cars. Too. You know but what I mean? But it was night. The guy could have never known there was a cat coming. Oh my god. Oh yeah, god. and so, but the cat made it. The cat definitely lost, like, one of his nine lives. Yeah, he lost one of them right there. But he made it, and that was... I was so happy to see him make it, because I've never seen a cat... I've never seen any animal get hit by a car. I've never seen that happen. Oh, 
I've actually hit animals. Yeah, it, I, I have. I've it's, never. It's horrifying. It exactly, because really then you know you're responsible for taking. Well, and you have the blood on your car, so you feel even worse it's when you just, get out. Yeah, you know it's what just I mean? you're like, oh Jesus. <laughs> so, and I, and me, I can't, I can't handle dead bodies very well, so yeah. I won't even check. Like I'm like, but at the same time. The country in me wants to put them out of their misery, so... Well, that's definitely to. what you need to do. That's what I do. Yeah. yeah. Um, I did it to my chickens. Like my that cow. dog we saw? Mm -hmm. Like, would uh, you have put that dog out of his absolutely. misery? Absolutely. I would have pulled over and put him out. Yeah, yeah. because... Um, when I saw him rubbing his face on the ground, I, I thought know. I was going to have to. I, yeah, because, because he was, like, he was, traumatized. It looked really? like he was dead. Yeah, <laughs> was I was like, oh, animal. no. But no, he's just rubbing his face on dead flesh on the ground. It was ridiculous. It was ridiculous because we thought something was wrong with him and he couldn't stand up anymore. But no... He was just a happy dog. He found a dead <laughs> animal. He wanted to rub his face on it. Yeah. <laughs> He's just cute as hell. I loved him. But we never saw that dog on the road, so that's a good sign. That's he a good sign. He could have died out in the desert. But, yeah. you know, it's... It's not our fault. You know? Yeah, we did our best, man. We did. We, I mean, we told the story. We tried to get him in the car. Yeah, I really think... that. Why, why are people so dumb when it comes to animals? Because I think most people are just... Uh, dumb. Yeah. <sighs> not like dumb, but just like not mindful. Yeah. Most people are just like, well, I'm running late to work. Fuck anything in my way. That's true. Like Kayla. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Like, I don't care if I get a huge fine. I don't care if my kids aren't buckled. You know what I mean? Yeah. Shit like that. Like the human shit. Snap out of it, dude. Snap you gotta... out of the societal shit. Stop running over animals in the road. For real. It's getting crazy. Dude. Drive you gotta by. Stop. That's why I don't drive at night, too. That's a good reason is because animals cross the street at night. Yeah. It's quite terrifying. And I understand that. But at the same time, I feel like at night, you're a little better off because you got your bright headlights, you got no, your loud engine. No, because you engine. can't see everything around you. That's true, but I feel like it deters, you know. I don't think so. You don't I go think running toward the headlight unless you're a deer. Unless you're a deer. I don't yeah. think I hit a deer. I know, it sucks too. Yeah, <laughs> it's, all, it. <laughs> it's all a nightmare, man. Yep. Animals dying. People dying, all things dying. It's Loss, so sad. huge part of the human experience, my man. Yeah, it is, and we were just talking about that too. Yes, how, we were. if you have a kid who experiences the death of animals, such as myself, I have experienced the loss of quite a few. That's animals. a good way to teach kids about De life and death. Yeah, you know exactly. What I mean? Except all of our animals are like really young. Not all of them. I mean, Iggy. Iggy's really old. Yeah. Yeah, all the kids will probably experience but, that. I mean, Jason, definitely, but the kids don't really have, like, a deep bond with Iggy, you know? But, I mean, what kid has a deep bond with any of the cats? What kid has a deep bond with five cats? <laughs> I do. <laughs> Just <kid>. rainy. <laughs> <laughs> this one, I like him. It's cool. She's She's holding how many of them you got over there? Just two. two? Oh, just two. Normally, there's three to four yeah. in our reach. <laughs> come back, come back. Come on. He's in bag as I hugged him. He jumped me out. Come here. But yeah, so we went to the border and that was cool. And I'm sorry to bring it back there, but the no, razor okay. wire and how it's destroyed and there's crosses with flowers all over it and a border patrol sitting every fucking 50 yards doing nothing, playing yeah. on their fucking cell phones. They didn't even like bat an eye at us. No, they didn't because we're white. What I was recording them and know? everything, you know, like, come on. I couldn't even see his window. I didn't even know if he was actually in there. Was oh, he, he was. Yeah, I could see him. In yeah, he truck? was looking down, like playing with his cell phone. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because who's going to cross right there? No one. He's no just, one. Yeah. yeah, he's got the piece of cake job in the world right there. Mm -hmm. Sit at that wall. I want to take a trip to Mexico for sure. I think they're fucking stupid for standing there. Like, what if somebody gets mad and wants to take one of, take one of them out? You just shoot through that fucking wall. You got another one right there. So? Get you can't shoot board. through the wall. There's no guns in Mexico. Oh. Yeah. You'd have to be thing. a criminal already. Yeah. yeah. So. But I, Mexicans, they play loud music and they're so brightly colored and they love their families and they have... And they make do. And they make do, exactly. We're talking about Mexico. Yes. Right, well, we can see anyway. We can't speak for every Mexican, but you know what I mean. That's true, yeah. <laughs> I'm but it's about, beautiful, I think, man. Yeah, I'm talking you about, look like, Mexican across, culture. You look across that line, which I hope I got good enough footage of, and it's just... Beautiful. Well, I took a picture me. of where we were when I told you to reverse. It, it looks simpler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a yeah, good picture. It's yeah, a good it picture. just looks like simpler times. Like there's not so many building inspectors and fucking. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like just bullshit that they you don't make need. Do, exactly. And that if it's Americans good enough have. for them, then it's good enough. Yep. Mm, like, geez. I mean, for real. I'm grateful that we have this air unit, but also like we would have been fine without it. We didn't ask for it. Right. I agree with that. 
Yeah, we we didn't ask for it. Yeah. He offered. So it's like, fuck it, whatever. Now we got to pay an insane electric bill. But last year we just had a couple space heaters and we made do. That's true. We cuddled up under blankets. Like, you just knew winter was coming. Yeah, it's just... Now I can go out there and I'm not going to Times are a changing. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so different. Yeah, what are you going to do, man? Just got to roll with the flow. Do what you can. Defy. You know, like fucking like we did today. We'll walk the border. Record it. You know, talk about it. Show them what's really happening. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Look at this fucking razor wire so nobody can give their family a hug. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, it's not even just razor wire. It's not stopping things. I can send bullets through those holes. That's the crazy thing. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, could, I could slip a gun under there. You know Next what I mean? Like, that's fucking slip a crazy. Joint under there. No, because oh. weed is legal there. So it's is probably it? easy they got to illegal. come by. Yeah. No, but you know, just something to defy it because that's such bullshit. Yeah, definitely. Like, even money. Like, that's why I want money. Like, Mr. Beast money. Yeah. I want to just stick hundreds through the fucking fence. You know what I mean? God, that'd be so cool. Can you just imagine? Just drop hundreds through the fence, yes. And you know what? You can count on me to be there every fucking month. <laughs> drop a few God, hundreds for whoever so needs it. That'd be so sick. I would do it. See, that's real, that's real shit. That's yep. real change. I would do it. Yeah. Absolutely. Because, definitely. what, America's going to lose their currency? Fuck Fuck them. Yeah. You should find people with, like, those Mexico license plates shopping at Walmart and, like, stick it in their driver door, you know? Oh, cash? Oh, yeah. that's smart. I like that, too. Just in their windshield wipers. No, because anyone will take it. You want to find the people that live in Mexico and have to cross to get the shit. Well, that's why I want to go to the wall. You know, nobody wants to leave their country. I want to go to the wall to the people that don't have cars, the people that live in tents up against the wall. I've never seen that. Oh, I have. Really? Yeah, there's people. Yeah, yeah, they'll pitch a tent right up against the wall. So all you got it, okay. So you just to, holler at them. Hey. <laughs> you know, to live in Mexico, you have to have like a base income. Yeah. Okay, so you go over there with lots of cash and you just give it to people. Like that's sick. That's kind of. I mean, the wall, sure, yeah. but yeah. in Mexico, it'd be a little dangerous. I mean, yeah, I don't know true. per You're se, totally but right. you know, I would take that risk myself, being a white guy. You know. Yeah. I don't speak Spanish, so... But, sticking money through the wall, you better fucking believe it. And I know that's not changing anything, really, but it could make all the difference. Imagine a $100 bill. That's worth a 1000 there, I think, you know, something like that. Yeah. <coughs> that buys their groceries for the entire month. Exactly. That's pretty fucking See, cool. exactly. And then there's... Uh, <coughs> I like it because then there's, like, YouTubers or twi TikTok people who take, like, a $100 bill and stick it under the lid of formula. Nice. Yeah. Ah, for or new like parents. Or like inside a pack of diapers. Right, right, right. Which we don't do formula or diapers, so. But yeah. Kind of different than what we would, a different approach than we would take, but yeah. No, it's genius I'd stick it in a box of wipes. <laughs> there you go. Like anything, you know, you stick some money in there because more than likely someone's going to buy it. It's not going to go to the warehouse. And then you stamp it. Go to the journals of awakening. <laughs> no, because I, you, the whole deal is to not get the recognition. Oh, okay. Chow feels, yeah, 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 to just serve. And, yes. and, and And that way they don't feel inclined to do anything back. Yeah, exactly. But we should, like, at least write the word free for you, you know. Don't turn this in. This is your money. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Something like that. Because people are too nice. Free money And they're like, oh, some parent lost 100. I got to turn it in, you know. Signed J-O-A. Journals of Awakening. Yeah. I love it. There we go. You should change your name to that, your your tag name, at J-O-A. What's, so, what's a tag name? Your at. Oh, I already said it. YouTube only lets you do it, and then I think... No. It's still in progress right now, the change. Oh, it made me pick one for mine. Yeah, they just rolled those out. Yeah. They just rolled them out. Oh, but yeah, so I want but yep, Journals of Awakening is shaking people. For sure, you know? <laughs> And we can. We have the capability. We're right here in our piece of shit car and our piece of shit whatever. I used blah, to blah, walk blah. it. I used to walk. Right. Or when I was working at Walmart, I was walking and I found fifty dollars on the ground, and I kept it obviously because it's like, what are the odds this is even going to get? You work at in? Walmart and you're walking, so I had, you probably needed it. No, I wasn't walking home. I was just walking. It was in the store. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it was. A, I wasn't one of those people that pick it up, and I'm going to go turn in this cash because it's going to find their owner. No, no I was like, fuck I'm no, fucking struggling, and I need this. Yeah, the, so, the universe put that there. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? So anyway, I took it, but I want to just drop cash for people. Absolutely. Just drop it. Like dollar stores. Yeah, on the ground. Look for people shopping for food in a dollar store. And drop a hundred. Yeah, exactly. Like, uh, 
I don't know. And they go, is this yours? No, that's yours. I saw you drop it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, uh, Im- Impractical Jokers does that, too. Do they? Yeah. They do it with $5 because it's just a TV show. But. Right. Yeah, they're not making real money, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the dream. Y'all heard it, man. I'm not even playing. That is the dream. My, my greatest pleasure would be helping people. Yes. I don't want a mansion. I understand that I'll have to move somewhere nice for security purposes if I ever, you know, when I make it big. <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly. But that doesn't mean I want to. I just know you got to go with the flow. Can't get robbed. But that's why we don't play the Powerball anymore. Exactly. That's too fucking much. Yeah, whether it's a billion or whether it's Did somebody million. win that yet? Yeah. They did? Somebody won the two billion. And you know where? Where? Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> Some movie Los star wanted. Angeles. Oh, good for them. Yeah. Somebody that can already afford three grand a month in rent. Exactly. Wow. That's great. Now they can buy a second home. Yeah. It's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> and a sixth home. And somebody in California won that billion dollars. That is. I'm not hating on California, but obviously, you got, there's way cheaper places to live. Yeah, don't, don't, get, don't out get out of California. Get out of California. Come on, man. Like, they, you guys are crazy thinking you're doing something there. Well, see, California's got really relaxed laws, too. Like what? Like Arizona? Oh. I want to live in Oregon. I mean, we're pretty chill. Yeah, I do too. I want to go more center U.S. No, I want Oregon. Oregon's Pacific Northwest. Oh, okay. That's where shrooms, you can get them in a dispensary. Right, right, right. That's right, right. that shit I want. Colorado too, right? No. no. Shrooms is like Oregon only. And I want to go there and buy some shrooms, you know? That's the dream. Well, day that'd be cool. Yeah. We're going to do some traveling when we get ourselves a nice car. Right. Yeah, definitely. Like a real nice car. Well, we got that one million subscriber play button. <laughs> you don't do car payments, period, huh? But it could be... Okay, so, for example... <coughs> it's a good way to screw yourself. No, you so, no, for example, tax returns are coming, right? So, mm-hmm. so you drop <coughs> three grand on a car. Yeah. On a five grand car. Yeah. And then you make payments for, what, like a year? Uh-huh. And then, and then... Yeah, like 400 a month plus full coverage insurance. 600 a month? No, no, no. For a couple of years? <laughs> no, that's why I said you put three grand down on uh-huh. a five grand car. Then you owe two grand. Yes. Okay. So, so your payments are like nothing. Mm, you got to think of all the interest, the docs, the payments, the, the paperwork fees. And then you got to think of the insurance costs. Really? Then you got to think of the maintenance. You can't even fix that shit yourself or the warranty cancels. You have to take it to a shop in the nearest city, you know. Oh, okay. I don't know. It just comes with a lot of baggage. No, you're you right. Know? Like, I just, I want a car. I do too. And I want a nice, reliable one. Yeah. That's why I need that million subscriber play button so I can just buy a brand new one. Exactly. That's, exactly. that's, the, that's the plan. <laughs> but here we are complaining about a car when people in Mexico are struggling to do Absolutely. Anything. See, that's what I'm saying. We need to humble ourselves. We, we drive a 98 I car, just, you know, but I it just fucking want runs. To go it on adventures. Us. Like when we went shooting those explosive gallons. Yeah. That was adventurous. And I just want to do that for fun. Not the shooting part. Just like going the out. Walk through Walking. The woods. Yeah. yeah. Walking through the woods is fun. I told you I want to take you to my cave. I got a cave out here in our town, and it's got a gun oh, in it. Oh, and it's winter. We should do it. It's got a gun inside of it. Yeah. I'm so down. In fact, I mean, he's like four now. It'd be kind of cool. When we got he'd here. Be able to walk like. When we got here, there was the whole was way. two. And then you'd have to carry him back. Kind yeah. Kind of thing. Because it is sand. But when we got here, he was only two. So oh. obviously, we couldn't do it then. But he's like four, and I think that he definitely would love it, you know, finding a cave and stuff. It's a walk. How long? Um, in time, about an hour, hour and a half to get there. Wow. On foot, yeah. Oh, that's too far. Oh, it's beautiful, though. It's so worth it. Yeah, not for the child. I know, that's what I'm saying. He'd be able to walk there, and then he'd be done. Yeah. (laughs) We'd be carrying him back. We don't have babies. (laughs) So, yeah, it's, it's, it's one of those things, but that's just, that's my cave. That's, um... I'm not going to say where. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool, though. <coughs> we'll go there one day. We got off topic again. Yeah, I know. But I put that thing there 20 years ago, and I've been waiting to go back and get it. Yeah. Well, anyway, I didn't want Ben to say Hooser, so... <laughs> <laughs> Any Hooser! <laughs> uh, 
We're going to go ahead and call this pod. Yeah, yeah, thank you guys for showing up again. Ben and Rainey, your host, which we said three times Peace this episode. Peace No! <laughs> Peace! That's all you get here. Peace! <laughs>